All right, everybody, it's time to check in on this week's starting lineup. Big Ed has been up to a whole lot, and I'm wondering if he's ever going to leave the show. Am I ever going to not have to talk about this guy? These two are just completely confused at this point. They have no idea what's going on. Liz is crying just about every episode, you know, because she's with Big Ed. That's what you do when you're with Big Ed. You just cry. And Ed wants them to move, I guess. So he's like, hey, let's go argue in a $2 million house that we can't afford. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful way to spend the afternoon? There's an open house. Liz and I want to go and at least begin our our search so we know kind of where to begin. We need a guest bedroom, a room for Riley. You need a she room. No, I just need a spot for my elliptical. What the hell's a she room? Is that something I'm supposed to know that I don't know? Am I, am I the weird one here for not knowing that? I know that Ed wants a housewife who doesn't work or anything, so what is this, just a room that you just go be a woman in? So a room to exist in as a woman? I feel like this is the first time where we're actually planning for our future together. Hi. Liz, nice Liz, to meet nice you. Liz, nice to meet you. I'm Ed. Ed, How nice you doing? to meet you. I'm Ed, the big Ed. And then he just gets down on his knees and kisses her hand to try to be all smooth, you know? And it's working until he realizes he's not going to be able to get back up without a tremendous amount of effort. So he kind of just shuffles around in a circle until Liz finally comes over to help him. So I actually have a background in design. Oh, do you? In architecture. So when I told you I was looking at mid-century, I kind of meant it. Deep sink, I like. Deep sink, yes. I kind of thought I was here to show the house but I see you already know everything about the house. So that's, you know, that's fantastic. I could just stand here. Design is really important to me, and it's a side of me that Liz is getting accustomed to. She still calls a sofa a couch, what? which drives me nuts. What? No. So we're going to check out the bedrooms no. first. Honestly, I never even knew there was a difference. It's a crazy day. I'm learning a couch fact from Big Ed. But who else would I have learned a couch fact from? This is really fantastic. So it's listed right now at 1.295. But it's in a really great area too, don't forget. Oh, I know, yeah. Wow. He's calculating how many fart jars he's gonna need to sell to buy this place. I have no idea why these two wanna buy a house anyway. They break up every other day. And Liz isn't even working right now, and the only reason she hasn't gone back to work yet is because Ed is scared of that. He's afraid of her going to work. I don't know what the hell that means. She's a bartender. She doesn't wrangle bears for a living. Now that you're going back to work, I mean, how do you feel? There are gonna be times where I will have to work late or I may have to pick up a weekend night shift a weekend night shift? Why don't you just divorce me right now? Because that's basically what you're doing by, by working a weekend night shift. I can't believe you're going to do this to me, Liz. There's going to be people there. You know how I feel about weekends and night shifts and people. I don't want 1 a.m. bull****. Like, midnight stuff. It's No, but inventory isn't like midnight. I know. And if, gosh forbid, I do need to pick up a Friday shift, it is going to be a midnight 1 o'clock. Why is he so afraid of her working late? Like, working after midnight is such a crazy thing to him. What, is he afraid of gremlins attacking? No, we all know he's just afraid that she's gonna cheat because when she works late, she's gonna be around more people. And pretty much any person you see is a step up from Big Ed, so you're gonna be surrounded by better options. I I'm, I'm pretty sure she hasn't even seen a person since she's been with Big Ed. That's the only explanation for any of this. He's kept her locked in her she room. It is what it is. I I'm not there gonna understand days. that. I don't want you there working till 1 a.m. I'm sorry, I don't. And I'm never gonna be okay with that. Liz, why are you acting like you've never seen gremlins all of a sudden? Cut the crap, you're not working past midnight. It's a restaurant, I can't just work days. So far, he's had zero explanation as to why he doesn't want her to work late, but it turns out part of it is the fact that Liz's co-workers have been talking trash about Ed. I think he realizes he's not going to be able to get his way when it comes to this, so the next best thing is to just show up on every shift that she works and just hang out there at the bar. And then while Ed is there partying, he eventually forgets what he was doing there, and he ends up cheating on her in front of her. Now, that last part didn't happen, but it might. The people that she works with, it's young adult kids that are still in school, and they're there to make money and party in excess. And in the past, it was hard for me because... Oh, God, I don't care, dude. Everything's always about you. It's hard for you. Oh, it's so hard for me that Liz worked. Dude. This guy has just whined about himself for like three years now. Liz's co-workers didn't like me. And they would be whispering in her ear about our relationship. Dude, you're on a famous reality TV show and you tried to sell a fart online. I'd be surprised if they weren't whispering about you. It's not the location. No matter where she works, people are going to be like, oh, is that the lady that's dating the five foot one fart dude? And I think that led to our breaking up. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want that. 
began. So he's saying that last time he couldn't handle the fact that she was working, so they broke up. So now his solution, instead of fixing his behavior, is to just make sure she doesn't work. It sounds like part of the problem, too, is she has no independence from Ed. He's always there. I'm walking away because it's just not worth fighting about. I'm going back to work, I'm making my paycheck, and I'm following your terms. Our terms. Your terms. Our terms. Your ter Our terms. Our terms. Our terms. So Ed just comes up with his own terms and makes no effort to meet in the middle or to listen to what she has to say. He's acting like he's compromising and being fair just by allowing her to work, as if that's not just a normal thing everybody does by default. Liz, I said you could work, that's one thing, but working at midnight is just insanity. I wonder if Ed will ever come to terms with the fact that Liz is a separate human being from him. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. I know this was kind of a quick one, but maybe next time we'll check in on our old pal Jovi and see what's up with Kim and Usman. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one, which should be soon. Our terms. Your terms. Our terms. Your terms. Our terms. Our terms. Your terms. Our terms. Your terms. Our terms. Your terms. Okay.